Coming up next, the matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. Hey boys, what's up? So today we'll be playing the UFC 4 on PS5. I spent quite a amount of time to learn the combinations, punches, kicks, different combinations in the clinch, takedowns, the ground game, submissions. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. The Eagle from the Crazy Mountains in Dagestan. The graphics are really cool on PS5. Full high dynamic range. the tape for this lightweight scrap so three years the gap in age between these two fighters and they both possess a similar height and reach to get us started with the official introductions we go inside to the veteran voice of the octagon here's bruce buffer ladies and gentlemen bruce buffer <laughs> this is the main event of the evening and when the action begins our referee in charge of the octagon herb d This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's, it's time. time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the challenger, Iron Mike did uh, his debut in Bellator on September 13th, 2010. So he is in the history of UFC. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands by feet ten inches tall. Listen to the crowd, man. That's amazing. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. This is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. I will break that man. Some punches and all. The 
take down. This guy, oh, and he hip tosses him to yes. the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, GC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermako Meadows. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he so operates the take down, in these situations. You press the L2 exactly and the rectangle the for a single leg, L2 and triangle for a double leg, L2, L1 and the rectangle for a wrestling power single leg, and L2, L1 and triangle for a wrestling power double leg. Or so it appears this is not a guy you want Habib is really unstoppable on the ground. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. Let's see if we can ground. get the mount, really top game. mount, and something right, from there. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Side control. Three minutes in our opening round. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to do Top mount, let's go. Let's see if we can get the armbar. Guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground. Looks like a potential submission attempt here. Triangle from the top. Ah, we missed it. And he landed the right hand there. You ain't gonna pass the gut of Kabi. Back to the feet now. 35 total strikes have now landed for Kabi Nurmagomedov. Let's go. Ah. Who's going to be out? Are you drunk? How many more Delos did you drink? playing with fire. All right, half guard for him here and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes. Look at the details in Khabib's body, man. Full of muscles, so detailed. With a really secure position in half guard. Standing over his opponent here and making these strikes count. Beautiful sequence there by Nermago Medov. All right, so you uh, be you're going to escape the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Nermago Medov. Oh, good opportunity. Fantastic lead down. 20 seconds to go in round one. No mercy. No mercy at all today. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to work. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Look at the whip action that comes with throwing that kick. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination. 
and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Where is Islam Magachev and Javier Mentes? I was expecting to see them. All right, here we go with knee. Throw the knee. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the uh, Yes. Mike, get up, mate. separation now right hand punch the clinch. beautiful combination there stuffs the takedown there how good is his takedown defense big call for punch land now he gets back to range good series of punches by him there he has been busy throughout the right there his opponent's compromised dc it's one thing to land a hard shot it's another thing completely to land a perfect shot and that was a perfect shot oh man i'm so good at that for the canvas as he lands another takedown there he landed another takedown and he's doing it over and over again what i am a massive fan of is his cardio the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Let's go, look, he's, uh, let's go for the Kimura. Let's go for the Kimura. Nurmagomedov's trying for a submission here. Oh, nice. He might get a finish here. We missed it again. We'll go again. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every Habib's pressure is nuts, man. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel. He sticks on you like a glue. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Nurmagomedov's right back to the full mount here. Wow, After this fight, I will probably play another one game. Happy versus Dana White, Uncle Dana. Of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, double leg. Under two minutes to go in our second round. Now he's going to try to attack Kamora here. Submission defense there. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, he oh. I will slam him. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left. Oh, oh. He's going to try to take him down. There you go. Oh, yes. Slam there. That one cannot feel good. Oh, it looks like he's trying to isolate now. Maybe set up a Kimura here, DC. Yeah, he's going to try to attack Kimura here. He'll try to get him up on his right hip. Oh. Turn on the elbow. He's going to chase the submission finish. Sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. And he's 
able to work his way back to his feet. Again, back into his position. Nice, Price. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, there it is again. He just continues to keep landing those takedowns, scoring a lot of points. His opponent has showed a pretty good getup, but not sprawling, not stopping the shot. He's got to sprawl earlier. He's got to defend a little bit earlier if he's going to stop this guy. This guy is so committed to his wrestling that he will continue to attack it on over and over. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Numago Metal. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very... Numago Metal gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, the UFC lightweight champion, and I'm not sure any 155-pounder could have held up under the onslaught here tonight. He wins the belt by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at one minute, 20 seconds of the third round. He's playing the winner by tap out, and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib Well, many argue it's the UFC's toughest weight class. It's one of the more difficult belts to defend. But he certainly did just that here tonight. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your winner by submission. And now all that's left to do is to celebrate with the corner. Big finish and a big result.